Um, I just don't find Paladin to be very fun. It's probably better than Priest, but let's go Priest. Uh, I like Quicksand. Could be nice if we get any steal effects or flip effects. I think Champ's a better card, but let's take the cheap card. Can be a little greedier. Uh, I don't love Elixir. If you get Divine Shield, it's really good. Other times it's kind of awkward. I think I'll take Conjure, even though that card's not very good. But hey, if we played it against either of our Shaman opponents or Demon Hunter opponent, we probably would have got a phenomenal card. Either high roll, dumb cards, or get a boring deck, and either way it's dumb, yeah. Let's take Enforcer. I like Beetle, but man, I love this card. It's a lot of stats. We'll take Scarab. I think Glue Meter's kind of poo. Scarab's fun. I'll take this Elixir. I don't like Legionnaire that much. I want to like it, I just don't. It's just not that good, I don't think. Uh, Delinquent's a nice two. All right, I'll take the dumb in Tomb because everybody always gets mad when I pass in Tomb. I think Protector's okay too, though. I like this card. Uh, bomber over Trash, and, tra and Bomber is Trash, but at least take a, tra a Trash two over a Trash seven. I'll take a Worm here. Worm's okay. Entomb is premium. That I would disagree with wholeheartedly. I think if Entomb is in your premium uh, 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 pool of cards, in your description of it, A, you have misunderstood how to value Entomb, and your list must include 115 cards, probably. Take Deliverance, though. See, now I wish I had taken the 6 mana 2-6. Six. I could take 1 Entomb. A, I wouldn't have this non-golden Entomb. And B... I'd have a 2-6 taunt that I like, a uh, 6 mana 2-10 taunt that I like. Breeze is everything. Bert, good to see you. Good night. It was great to see you. Tuming a bat taunt is always fun. Mm. Not if they spent 5 mana on it. Not if I don't want it in my deck. I uh, will take this knight captain. Why do I value it so low? I just don't think it's a premium card. But... Why it's valued low is if your opponent's playing a, a Knight Captain and you're entombing a Knight Captain, you're spending six mana to put their five mana card in your deck and giving yourself lower odds to pull certain cards and very low odds to pull a specific card. It doesn't really matter. It's a six mana removal spell. I'd rather have an Assassinate or a Hex or a Coerce. They're all better. Yeah, sometimes you're going to put a Proto Drake back in their deck that you couldn't deal with, but not all the time. You like cereal? You like Dino Egg Oatmeal? All right, all right. We're, I thought we're sharing a bowl. Uh, embalming Ritual, I guess. There's some upside. These I don't want in my deck ever. Raise Dead, I like. I think Wretched Tutor would be good for our deck too, but I like Raise Dead. It's hard to get card draw in Priest, so when you can get cards that create cards, it's pretty nice. Uh, let's go Undying. I like that card. Maybe Tolvir? I, I really don't want Legionnaire. Make an Entomb bet. Will we Entomb a Legendary Minion? Ace FJ. What is up, Ace? There's so much Death Rattle. It has a serious upside. Uh, a lot of cards have a serious upside. It's about whether or not that upside is worth it. And whether or not you need it. And... You, don't, you shouldn't value cards based off of their maximum upside completely or solely. You should base it off of how often is this likely to do something specific. And there are good death rattles, but that doesn't mean you can always save it for a death rattle. That doesn't mean your opponent's always going to have a death rattle. That doesn't mean it's always going to be good to do it on a death rattle. The issue is the turns you play in Tomb, you can only spend four max mana. So even if you're getting rid of your opponent's six or seven drop and you can't play your Knight Captain, then they just play another minion and you're not getting ahead on the board. So you have to have really high quality minions or more answers and ways to replace the one for one trade. So if your opponent's playing a Stormwind and then using the Stormwind to free trade your board, or to push an extra four or five damage, and then you're entombing it, they're just gonna hit you with the rest of their board, and you didn't really do anything. Same with a Violet Worm or a Proto Drake. If you're dropping an Assassinate and a 
six mana 210 taunt, then you might not lose the game the same turn you play the assassinate. Even if you assassinate a violet worm and give your opponent a bunch of 1-1s. Can you play a constructed round? Want to see what the new meta is like? If not, well, I guess we'll get well done steak. Oh, God. If well done steak is on the line, then uh, I can make some, some adjustments. But um, maybe at the end of the night, one night, or at the very beginning of the night, we could play a constructed round. That's not what I want. How do I change that? Sorry, I'm just not going to challenge any of you. I know that. Tomb is better in this meta than many due to the stickiness of some death rattles. Yeah, exactly. It's not to say that the card's not good or, or entombing a, a Proto Drake's not a viable play. It's just how often are you really doing that? And when you do, how often is that really winning you the game? And I would argue, which I have been discussing, right, that the discrepancy of times that it is exactly what you want as opposed to a slightly inefficient answer to efficient minions is probably different than people perceive. That's all. Probably Neophyte. I'm not getting any dragons, right? But I get it. People are very passionate about Entomb. People were very passionate about cards like Bloodlust, uh, Recycle, Entomb. People really like brewing back their, their two drops for value and then losing the game on turn two or three a lot of the time. Um, people like those type of plays. And in general, you're going to lose more often than not doing those type of things. Um, I just wanted to see Entomb's played win rate in a 48% in a guy. I don't know what it is, but it's 53. So for, for example, just what we always discuss, Entomb wins you the game about as often as Upgradable Framebot, Direwolf Alpha, a, a little less often, uh, Necromancer, Candle Taker, Jungle Panther. Uh, so, just factor that into your, to your analysis, I would say. Uh, I'm gonna nab a Shadow Word Death over a new, a new Pusath Warbringer and Strangle Turd Tiger. I don't want him. Made my night. You don't have to do Construct. I was memeing. Aw, oh, come on. I didn't want to break your heart. I do have the Play 3 Games quest. I'm probably gonna save. I'm probably gonna save it for the start of the next meta or whatever. I've been impressed by Jar Dealer. Psionic Probe is fun. We already have a non-golden in Tomb, so uh, yeah, let's take it. Whatever. Holy Ripple. But yeah. Anyway, every time we have these discussions, it's not it's not an unplayable card, and a good player is going to win the game a higher percentage of the time with a card like Entomb than the average player. But most people picking and playing Entomb most of the time will not win the game more often than if they just play uh, four two stealth for three mana, and that card's turd. So just got to factor all these things in. That's all. Uh, Shadow word, power word, replicate. Kind of not great, right? Bug collector. I feel like I've got enough shit already, though. And I got like the shit quota. Quote, quote, quota, quota? I don't know. Let's take it. Oh my god, our own proto drink. And another fat eight drop. That's interesting. Because Power Word Feast is just nasty. Nasty Source Rex. Uh, uh, Violet Worm is a very good way to end the game for this deck, but a third 8-drop can get a little dicey. I'm a Power Word man. I love this card. I would, would like to pick up another like kind of late game threat. Maybe two Draconic Studies and a Ysera, perhaps? Isn't Fat Worm an immediate add? No. Not when you already have one and a Proto. Proto's better than the Worm, I think. Initiation is an immediate add. So for example, comparing Tomb to Initiation, right? I would much rather bump my opponent's Proto Drake and initiate it and put a Proto Drake on my board than, a, than, than uh, Entomb their Proto Drake most of the time. And all the other times, Initiation is almost always going to be better. Not always, but the vast majority of the time that I'm not initiating, I'm not Entombing an Enforcer, I'm just putting an Enforcer on my side of the board so much better than putting it in my deck and never caring whether or not I draw it. Initiation is 
a nutty busted card. Initiation is a premium removal spell. We'll take that four. Just don't really like giggling that much. The two drop, I don't know if we really need that many more twos. One, two, three, four, five. It's our sixth two, and it's got a little upside in the late game. I'll take it. Oh man, I love Spirit Guide. I must have a Shadow Spell and a Holy Spell and some other crap. All right, let's do it. And finally, I will take this Brewmaster and try to find some value from it somewhere over total arse. Are right, you trying to get us to optimize your value of cards in Arena? So good, bees! all the Rush Trolls running around. Are there that many Rush Trolls? I have not had a Rush Troll in my last like eight decks. Haven't seen a Rush Troll today and I've played like 25 games. Barely ever see them. It's probably not super common to be honest with you. We can look though. When in doubt, we can dispel our, our confirmation biases and just look at the uh, the case, uh, how often you will see such cards. The average, what, priest deck? We are a priest deck. Let's see how often we're, we're likely to see a troll. This in 32% of decks. So less than one out of every three decks will have one troll. So that's not a lot. That's like a super common card, but it's not a lot. And if I'm, if my opponent's casting a, troll against my worm like and i'm getting three one ones or something it's not even that good it's not that good the situation that very specific situation probably will not happen this week played by me or against me except now that i've said it won't happen it'll happen in the first game but um, normally it would not i thought you had a good sense of humor i think so i like to giggle i don't like giggling inventor especially not when i have raised dead and ways to draw raised dead don't really want the one twos, the extra one twos in the deck. Keep Knight Captain. Initiation is good versus trolls. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, initiation is good against everything, though. That's the point. That's why initiate. That's why initiation is a premium card. Okay. Well, we win six. No, we went four or five, right? Then let's get a bet going for this deck. Will we win? I don't know. Let's say six again. This deck doesn't have Draconic Studies, so it's probably not in a great position. I mean, maybe, but... I'm not sure if I mind that so much. But yes, initiation is good if I'm getting an 8-drop and removing an 8-drop, that's true. What's the best alcoholic drink I've ever had? Um, I don't know, probably the Redbeard Special. Whiskey? Cola? <laughs> Some bitters. You could deliver that, but I mean, a 4 8 is better than a 3 3 and a 2 3, right? Hey, there's a lot of points on the line. Let's try to get over a million points. That would be neat. How am I today? I'm doing great. Our Hearth games have been lame, but we've lost to a couple Yaseras. And a couple, what else did we lose to? Baron Glacion summoning five, three, fours. And then we lost to a Wildpaw Cavern. So cards with like 70 plus win rates. So translation is you don't beat them ever. So what are you gonna do? All in, good, good luck, Jamal. Good luck. Fight bump and heal. He, he has to spend two mana though, right? I'm kind of cool with that. I could even go face. 
What's the punish? I don't know. But I've got a couple of ways to like react to the board, so I'm, I'm a little more inclined. Yeah, stream's been fun. The rogue deck was fun. It went two wins. The warrior deck was better than the rogue deck. It went four wins. So this one should go six, right? Up by two, or maybe we're doubling. Maybe it'll go. Maybe it'll go eight. I don't think this is an endorsement for this Switch chat, but I will do it for you. Meaty Minja. What up, Meaty Minja? There's the Legendary and Tomb. First game. I think uh, had we just played like Power Word Replicate on a Captain or something, we'd probably win the game anyway. And <laughs> Tomb won the game. No, that Captain won the game. Our opponent spending two mana to do nothing also kind of helped win the game. Hello, folks. What's up, Artie? Artie! Oh my god, I've been waiting for you to show up. I had a horrific nightmare, and Artie was in it. Would you like to hear more, or would... <laughs> or will that suffice? I, 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 don't, I don't remember if anybody remembers my... Uh, I have these, this recurring dream. Did you wake up with an erection? I did not, thankfully. I, um, I have this recurring dream that I'm in a car. I hadn't had it for like a couple weeks, but maybe like two weeks, or 10 days maybe. I'm in a car and the car goes off a cliff and I'm bawling and, and I, can, I can see it. And then the car crashes. And then I, I kind of like, in my dream, right before I crash, I always think that I'm dead for sure this time. And then I open my eyes. It usually wakes me up. And then I kind of like open my eyes and I realize I'm not. And a lot of times my heart's beating really fast. And that's it. This time I was in the car and Artie was driving. And he was driving really, really fast. I remember that. And then Artie drove us off the cliff. And Brooke was in the car. And Artie and I lived in my dream. And also, I think my brother and my sister were in the car too. My brother and si my sister and Brooke all died I, in my dream. And then I had that, that same feeling I do in all my dreams where I was going to open my eyes and it was like I was sure I was going to die and I was going to open my eyes and I wasn't going to be dead. And in my dream, I opened my eyes and I wasn't dead but everybody else was and it was way worse. And I, I feel like the dream lasted a long time. You know those dreams where you remember a lot of details? Like I was in the dream for a long time after that. And then I was driving in my dream with Brookworm. And she was a ghost and I was talking to her. And then I crashed a car in the dream. And I saw myself and then I crashed the car. And then like I look back and Brooke, I remember Brooke was dead in my dream. And I was driving the car and I didn't know how I got in the car. Oh my God. Horrible, <laughs> horrible. Anyway, <laughs> that was my that was my morning. I'm really, kind of getting tired of it's a reoccurring death dream. So driving an ice cream truck? No, I don't know what kind of car. It was like it was just a regular car. All right, uh, Pbor and Meaty Ninja. Thank you guys for the follow. Sorry, I got on a little bit of a I got distracted a bit there. Not ideal here. Do we ever leave it up and try to get a 5-5 copy of one? Maybe. It's kind of greedy, but what are you going to do? 
You say you drove off something? Uh, in my dream, Artie was driving. I don't know why Artie was in my dream, but I remember Artie was driving. And we were in the Pacific Northwest driving through like a really dense forest and he was going like 100 miles an hour. And I remember being very afraid in the dream. And then there was like a lot of twists and turns and then he just went straight off the twists. There's always twists and turns in the dreams. Pretty horrific red. Once I dreamt that I looked in the back seat of my car as a shapeless black void slapped me <laughs> 20 feet in the air. Yeah, that's a movie I would watch. That's, I'm sorry that happened to you, but I'm basically as important to you as your family and girlfriend. Yeah, it seems that way. And you and I lived and they died, which is bad for both of us. Oh shit. Okay, I have several issues, and that is that I must entomb this. So this is just like the greatest uh, argument to have entomb all the time ever, or what? It's a terrible dream. Blitzes are mine or both of ours? Hey, where, where is Brooke? How do I do anything? Can't Night Captain? I went first. How am I so dead? I don't know. I guess this card is good. That's not good. Oh, wow. I guess we're not winning today. I keep having a recurring dream that I'm walking at the beach and then a car with a Romanian, then a car with Romanian and a guy with glasses, a beard and a beach cap fell off the cliff. What are you talking about? It's just gibberish. I go on quests in my dreams and I get consumed by gods when I sleep. That sounds not good. That sounds unpleasant. That sounds utterly unpleasant. Uh, let's see if we can get a two. We have a bunch of twos, right? It's probably better. I don't think I've ever had a recurring dream in my life and I'm okay with that. I feel like I should stop talking about it because I, keep, I feel like I'm having that type of dream more frequently. Can I post a link? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Schleier. You ever notice people never seem to have nice recurring dreams? Yeah. Smoke too much weed to dream? Uh, I can't remember. When I would smoke a little marijuana, I would sleep better. It was legal, of course. And, uh, but I don't know. Sometimes I couldn't, if I couldn't sleep right away, then I would have, like, my mind would just race too, and I didn't like that, so. I also have a reoccurring nightmare, but I don't enjoy talking about it. All right, we won't talk about it then. Happy holidays. Uh, dead end. Can I watch the trailer with no sound? I see an ass in the trailer, a human ass. A while ago, I dreamt I was in a limo with my friends cruising around a shopping mall when a supersonic boom went off in the sky. America was getting nuked. Weird part was, I had no nukes blow up above the ground, but I did in my dream. I had a dream feel so realistic and it was creepy. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I'm with Artie though. 
Nobody ever seems to have good reoccurring dreams. Can we get a good reoccurring dream, maybe? Can we do that? I have a feeling this guy's gonna come back. Also, I feel like that name is familiar, like somebody from chat. Like, not that they're sniping, but somebody that watches Hearthstone, maybe? Have you seen that movie, Slayer? Is it good? The synopsis of it didn't really describe it very well. It said he takes a wrong turn and he regrets it. But I'm assuming that there's more to it than that. Can I get a recurring dream of me and Red Zesty going to Disneyland? How about that universe? Yeah, right? THC suppresses our REM sleep, which is where actual dreams as opposed to night terrors occur. It's not a well-studied area though. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. I'm gonna get up and stretch my legs, actually. Why not, I say. This feels like too long of a queue. Something seems fishy. Okay, maybe not. Mm. Going second, I'd rather have real cards, I think. It's weird enough to say check it out. I like horror movies. I just don't watch them that much, but I like stuff that's weirder than it is, like gory. I don't really like things like Saw or Hostel. I've never seen those. I've seen parts of Saw. I was like, eh. Change the channel. But I like when there's like extra, what's a, um, like ghosts and stuff. Close. Hey, Red, I believe this or not, as soon as the game started, I saw it was you, went to Chew, closed out of Twitch, and Hearthstone crashed. Oh my god. I thought the name looked familiar. I'm sorry that happened. I had a suspicion that something was, was afoot. Check the synopsis of Velociraptor. If you send me a link to the IMDB, I'll read it, okay? That was a red beard bomber, <laughs> yeah. That wasn't ideal, that's for sure. You seen In the Tall Grass? It's good and trippy? No, I have not. Check out Observation Duty. It's good and creepy. I don't know what that is. It's them on a never ending road, but it's full of family going to a Christmas party. Huh. Okay. The synopsis for a 2018 film. Okay, let's read it. It's got three stars out of 10. After losing his parents, a priest travels to China. Uh, spoilers, I guess, minor for this movie. Um, 
Travels to China, he inherits some ability, uh, allows him to turn into a dinosaur. A hooker convinces him to use it to fight crime and ninjas. Uh, sounds like I'd be, I'd be a lot happier if I were to not watch that particular movie. See if we can get a consecration, maybe? It's not even good. Subdue's okay. I'm gonna kill that. Maybe we subdue. Like, he plays like a 4 6 or something here. We could subdue that. Um, Dead End sounds cooler than Velociraptor. Which, just a quick synopsis of it, makes it sound like, uh, what was that movie? Or that little, what's that one with the Hacker Man and uh, Kung Fury? Kung Fu? Kung Fury? Sounds like a the same description as that movie, which was kind of funny when I was younger. If I play this, I can get the 4 drop out. That's probably better than Entomb this turn. I guess if he silences it, it's pretty, pretty back-breaking, but... Kung Fury's awesome. I like Kung Fury, it was pretty funny. I might have, you know, had a legal marijuana tablet when I watched it, so I might have been more entertained by it than I would otherwise be. Hmm. Would have been a lot worse for us, probably, if he just played the two and then played the five he drew, but that's why you gotta try to do things in the right order sometimes. I mean, I'm still kind of in trouble, but maybe I can clear a little bit of this board here. I can kill... One. Power Word Feast lets me keep a guy. I think I'm gonna just shoot this. And I think I'm gonna buff this too. Um, I'm gonna kill this one. In case he has a silence. But I'll get rid of the Divine Shield, I think. You can make a Les the horse wear any hat. What would it be? Probably a, like a nice top hat, probably. It's interesting. Six spell wasn't good for the 410. It's fine, but you don't get the four drop out. Which is why Subdue is a better card than the Entomb. initiate it. Hit, hit, initiate. I guess I could ripple. Maybe I ripple here? But yeah, if you didn't have subdue, you would have had to in entomb there. Um, it's interesting. I think I want to clear the board. Suppose I could entomb that one. I have three mana. Yeah, I guess I could. I think we need to clock him for eight, right? Top hat it is. Maybe cowboy hat? Could be cool. What about one of those hats with a bunch of fruit on it? I cannot get lethal damage, right? I'm gonna hit the hay, it's 3.30. When I come back, I wanna hear about that movie. I don't know if I'll watch it today. But maybe I will. Maybe I will. I'm a little afraid to take damage. 
actually, then... Uh... Mm, maybe I should just trade. I probably should have done this first. I'm gonna trade. I don't want to die to an Alex. I think I win either way. If I trade. Or if I go face. I think I die if the Alex is right, so. That's a great hat idea. <laughs> I gotta see that hat in the game. I can't wait. And Slayer, good night. Enjoy the rest of your night. Three wins. I'll take it. They don't always give you three wins. Uh, I really like this card. We're going to have to hit something cheap, but if we do, that could be wonderful. We did not. That is not. I'm going over to YouTube. I'm gonna just check how our how our last YouTube video is doing. It's a good card. Doesn't help me right now, but uh, let's see. I'm doing okay or no? Uh, Yeah, it's doing okay. It's doing okay. So the 3-3 three, three battle cry deal 3 not go face? It does. Did we have lethal that turn? Was he at 11? He might be right. Shit. Oh, that's annoying. Um. I get a 4-7. He gets a stupid 1-2. I guess I get to hit there, though. Oh, no, I don't. I lose it if I... Oh, I can heal it. Okay, let's do that, then. Kripali? What's up, Kripali? Yeah, you, I think you're right. Hobo, maybe. Thing. Hit the, was he at 11? If he was at 11, then yeah, he was dead. Because I had the rush. The chat fell asleep, so I'm just here by myself. Nobody to talk to, nobody to help me. How was your day in Dredge Stream? I didn't spend the whole day over there. I slept from 5 or 6 till 9.30. Um, hmm. That's a quite good 5 drop. I guess I can have a quite good 5 drop as well. This would have been phenomenal, but as it is, it's not. I would, if I were to win the one in four, that would be cool, but I think we just take this. And sit, I actually, oh, I can initiate it next turn, which feels kind of bad, but we'll see. Maybe he just hits the poison one. Darn it. Um, I guess I could do this, and it will potentially clear off this board. 
Initiation, I get a 1-5 against a lot of damage. Deal 1, gain 1-1 one, one honorable kill. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Transfer Student's a really cool card in general, I feel. Does Dingle. Maybe it's better to just play the 5. Either way, I'm kind of having a pretty pretty shit turn. I could play the 4 and the 3, but... Let's try this. I mean, buffing any of the minions we have is kind of irrelevant for the most part. I mean, if you have freezing, you probably just slam it. He could be like just, you know, like. I thought it might be the one that sends a spell back to my hand, so I'd rather spend zero mana to get a one mana raise dead and then not get blown out there, but I'm glad we made the trade first. And Jelly Banana, it's good to see you, man. Darn it, I need uh, more ways to... I need another Entomb. All right, you know what? Entomb's been good, I need more Entombs. Life steal. Life steal's pretty good. Five, six, seven, maybe. Deadly his guy. And then play these, maybe. Takes off one power, but it takes off a lot of health, which is kind of good. It'll only need one damage to kill this, so. I might be able to initiate his guy. He already played his deadly, right? I mean, maybe he has two, but... Maybe not. What are my, my plans for Christmas? Uh, I'm not sure yet. Either Brooke's gonna come over here and we're gonna hang out, or we're gonna go over to her family's house and hang out, but apparently her sister and brother-in-law are sick, and their kids are sick, and there's a little bit of debate on whether or not, like, we should or want to go over there or whatever. I told her I'll go wherever she wants. If she wants me to go and, you know, I get COVID and die or whatever, it's fine. It's been a, it's been a better life with her than without, so. But I'd prefer not to get sick if I could, you know. So hopefully they feel better in the next few days. They're all healed. Uh, the Entomb now. Now it's late though. Now I think we take this. Right? Don't I want it? I think I want it. Um, and if I ripple, I could just ripple next turn. I think I'm just going to do this. Uh, owner the Morpheus. What's up, Owner? Already played his deadly. I had to check that it wasn't you I was playing. Never mind. Now I'm not doing a hunter run yet. Have you played any hunter? I've stayed away from hunter. I have not really enjoyed the prospect of hunter. Hey, where'd our music go? No more giveaway at a million followers. I might, I think we'll bring it back as we get closer. And we're getting closer pretty much every day. Most days we're getting closer. Didn't feel good, yeah. I have not enjoyed it. But I also didn't get the weapon. 
or flanking strike or hunter's pack or anything really i can't remember did i even do one <laughs> did i get any did i get any uh hunter cards morning brother man all good yeah i got no problems today what kind of deck is this this is a priest deck i have healing powers it's a deck that needed to draw something better that turn than a not a good card feels too easy to play around feels like you could get three charges and that's it really i feel like my opponent just get infinite swings Attrition? Um, yeah, it's an arena deck. Pretty much every arena deck is a quote-unquote attrition deck, I would say. Hopefully he goes face, but I can't imagine why he would. Oh. Well, now it doesn't really matter, huh? Should I just leave it? I mean, I don't have a lot of resources. I'm just gonna wait. But yeah, it's not an aggro deck, and every control deck is sort of an attrition deck by definition. I would say this is a... probably an average priest deck to slightly below average. Uh, it would be a good priest deck with If we could put a um, a Draconic Studies or two in it, I think. I had two in the first Hunter and one in the second. I thought it was going to be great. It felt mediocre since no one's playing three twos. There are two twos though, right? Wand maker, totems, shaman, so good. I've got two <laughs> two three twos on the board. So my draw here will pretty much dictate which removal spell we use. Um, one where I can get that down. I think I will just do this. Just because if my next draw is like a high main, I can high main and deadly, or a spirit guide, or a knight captain. It lets me play the removal spell plus a lot of other draws. Uh, and with this two drop, I could get like a golden scarab, the two drop, the deadly. Like I can get a lot more uh, on one turn. I don't really care about having the. Uh, I don't really care about having the. Pick Croc in the death. Let's get a high roll, I'm trying. I guess I'll just hold it. I could play it, but... Might want it, I don't know. It's gonna be hard to get value from it is the issue. But being able to use like these two. Wow, this guy loves exploring. Um let's see what we draw here. Pick croc, um Alright, I'll pick Croc's face. And I guess I'll trade. Indiana Hunter? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Exploring the heck out of whatever. Heal his minion. I don't want to do that. He has 30 cards all of a sudden. Oh, 
we got a mech too, right? Is a mech there's that's his legendary, darn it. Messy, messy. This will kill both, right? Alright, let's do this instead. So he's two explorers hats and he's got hopefully a stupid uh hopefully a stupid um another minion. It's gonna be hard for him to come back. Even Deathwing, I guess we we he could come back if he deathwinged. Deathwinged. I respect the cub. He actually is alive, in theory. Double wolf death rattle. That would have been really bad if he got, well, kind of bad maybe, if he got the big one. Oh great, we're leveling up, that's good news. Uh, four wins, let's try to get a fifth one, right? Why not? Why the heck not? What the? Machina TV. New branding, I like it. Uh, I will use this time to beg anybody out there to follow if they have not yet followed and they just forgot maybe or to perhaps check out our YouTube maybe hit the like button helps me out a small very small amount uh, but you know I don't know some people like watching hearth while they fall asleep I do sleepy bear boxer there you go this guy wanted to know what kind of deck it is now he knows Let's know what kind of streamer we are, now he knows. Sorry, in advance. For giving me this crap, putting that in your deck and not drawing it. Giving it to me, that's not fair. It's not right. Dang, that's a good turn for him. Wow, that's really good. Five wins is better than four. I'd love to get five instead of four. Well, I could skip my turn. Prefer not to. That one drop plus hero power killed my one drop and my two drop. I like this card in Rogue somewhat. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh. that's fine. That's less fine. Oh, he's got one of them good rogues. That's not a holy nova. One mana dagger? Yeah, plus the 1-1 one, one actually matters, right? Dun, dun, dun. Oh my goodness gracious, this guy's hard countering us everywhere with a dire mole. Counters the stupid bone wraith. What are you gonna do? Sometimes they... They dunk ya. I like that. I like that more than getting the free trade with that. Can't give it reborn. You can't get double reborn, unfortunately. I would have done that, but 
Not really. Oh wait, that's actually good for us. I can death it now. This is good for us. I can knight captain it now. Try to get a 1-1 one, one copy of whatever gets the buff stuck on it. It's like, yeah, you can put it on now. You only get a 3-1 back, it's not that hard. Like, if you can kill this, you can probably kill a 3-1. If you can't, that'd be delightful. It'd be a lot harder with only one mana here. You could have a backstab, I guess. Backstab, or... The one mana freeze thing. This is quite good. Death that. I think I like getting the free trade if I can get the heal. You can get three procs of Warbringer. That's optimistic. Warbringer Reborn? No. I probably won't even play this card. This game would be my guess. Or if I do, I have to concede the fact that it'll do nothing. It's also turn seven right now. Just throwing that out there. So you'd have to wait till turn nine to play it. Wait till turn 10 to give it Reborn. Wait till turn 11 for it to die. And I only have two minions in my hand as it is. How am I going to buff anything? And then I'm going to buff my uh, Violet Worm to a 2020, and it won't really matter. Dang, he got a weapon too? Yuck. Just saying, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll be, I'll be, I mean, it looks like we're going to play it next turn. It's going to do nothing, so. It, we actually could, but I won't have any minions, so. You can buff nothing like six times. Maybe if you draw, if you play it, and then draw raise dead, and then draw a minion or something, it might have been possible, like, to buff something. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not super likely. That's really unfortunate that that's the, uh, that's the one we gave him. Because now I lose my guy. We can uh, do this to protect that. Or we can play this. And he doesn't get an honor kill. It's close. Both are bad for us. There were a lot of cards he could have got that wouldn't have mattered. Tolvir, Bomber, Elemental, Delinquent. Honorable kill? Did I have an honorable kill there? Oh yeah, but I'd still lose it, wouldn't I? Goes up to four. Maybe I could have kept it alive. Nah, I don't know. Maybe. He would just take more damage. That is better, but it probably doesn't matter. I totally missed the honor of our kill. Yeah. But I don't care. Deliverance there? Probably okay, right? Maybe? Or we bump and heal? If you can't kill it, it's probably better to hold it. But he's going to have a lot harder time killing it if this is off the board. And I'll have a 3-3 also, so I think it's fine. You're still our favorite streamer? Well, misplaying once every three days or whatever would prevent somebody from having me be their favorite streamer. They probably aren't my favorite viewer, so it wouldn't really concern me too much. 
But if you play eight hours a day, you're going to make mistakes. Your opponents are making mistakes. It's fine. You try to make good plays as often as you can. And uh, yeah, that's all you do. Mm, I'm going to Shadow Word Death that. Well, I wish he didn't do that. Healing here is actually worse for us. Um, I want the Knight Captain in my deck. And I want the thing dead. And now it's probably better to heal this. There's one thing that gets chat's attention, is calling out the honorable kills. I should do that more often just to get a little bit of chat interactivity. Remember, they're paying me per message, so. Uh, fly low, nine months subscription. Let's have all honorable kills and all order rules and all misplays called out by people who are subbing. Put it in the sub message. The Lord of Farts does not make mistakes. He makes farts, which could have been mistakes or not true. Thank you very much, Flylo, for the nine months. Let me catch a legendary real quick. No, I don't actually get paid per message. But hey, you know what? It gives me something to read, which is good. Uh, it keeps me engaged, which is also probably good. Uh, give me some good news over here. Ah, bad news. How much does he cost, too? If only he could get a three mana, one four mighty beast taunt here. Darn it. Uh, I have his knight captain. I have raised dead and psionic probe. Maybe those do something. I have big eight drops also. I thought he might just concede because he was like raging or something. I thought you were married, me? Good morning, what's up, Jackson? How are you, man? Is this Brook? I hope that that kills him. Darn it. Mm, that's bad. Solid box, yeah, it wasn't bad for him. Gain infinite life, draw infinite cards, summon a board, destroy your opponent's board. Mm. Decent. Decent. <laughs> hey, thank you so much, Stone Gaze. I was thinking that maybe somebody would would you know order lul me or or let me know about a misplay in the next sub. But that was an encouraging message. Thank you, Stone Gaze. I do appreciate. It. I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you're enjoying the holidays, which may soon be upon us. I always get boxes that kill me. I get boxes that kill me. I cast three runes of the flippin' Archmage yesterday. And they didn't remove anything. Almost nothing. I hit there, that becomes a menace. So. That's that. Oh, 
Okay, uh, I'm only getting one minion back, so I think I'm gonna wait. I would like to get two back. So heal's nice too, potentially. If you had cast the box, it would have probably destroyed your board and found a way to give him infinite health. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It does make me feel better. No, actually, that doesn't. It makes me feel worse. <laughs> but yes, my opponent's things are always good, and mine are always poo. I just want a 5-5 five five instead of a 3-3, three three, right? And I guess I'd rather get this one back in my raised dead if it comes to that. So I'd rather that one die, and I'd rather have extra copies of it, I think. But now I like Puzzle Box, it's fun. It, like, puzzle Box is a cool card. It's not cool when it's killing me, but it is a cool card. I'm gonna wait. I'll be down to get a smug back potentially or a captain. We'll see. We shall see. Kind of like this there, pew, pew, on the next one. Oh, I love this song, it's really cool. Uh, you know, let's do this now too. I'm gonna float mana if I play this card, so. I think I'd rather just get a minion down. Initiation is nasty, yeah. Yeah, so that was again Mystery Insight, just a, another example of like the power level discrepancy between an Initiation and an Entomb. Putting a Smug Senior in my deck is a lot worse than putting a Smug Senior on my board and giving up a 2 drop. So, that's just why I don't, cons that's, that's why I don't consider Entomb to be a premium card. Because if you say Entomb's a premium card, then what's Initiation? The most broken card ever? Which it's not, but it is much better than Entomb. Did you play Ace Defenders from Dreadstream? Did I know? But we may be playing some Ace Defender ourselves on stream. So, make sure you guys have two phones to download it for Dreads and me if I do it, alright? Mm, 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 mm. One more win? Let's go for one more win for now. Who am I to you? Nobody. That's what I want to tell But uh, his counter wasn't working, like ours wasn't working for Marvel. So I could sympathize with his frustration. It's tough to, to do that sponsored content in general because people are gonna be you know cranky and whining about it and then to have people wanna support you and they can't, it's also frustrating. So I think he said he got it worked in the end, got it working in the end and that's good. Or they got it working for him. Dreads doesn't do it. And we don't do anything. Dared one said you're supposed to do something. And two means you don't have to deal with the nasty death rattles. Seems situational. Yeah, and, and again, sometimes that's really good. Sometimes you would rather do that than something else. I'm gonna get Night Captain. No. Yes, Sarah. Deal 8 damage to the enemy hero. Card looks cool in gold. I need that in gold, don't I? You'll never learn with Bomber. I'll never learn with Bomber. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. I'll wait on that too. Don't know for what. Sometimes Bomber's good, but I never take Bomber over like Shadow of Death or Proto Drake or anything like that. I just take Bomber over crap. There's just a lot of crap out there. I want that. I want another copy. I want a bunch of Talons that draw worms and Proto Drakes. Losing Joust, Mad Bomber hitting my own face, yeah, but it only hit me twice. It didn't even hit me three times. <laughs> it's great. Titanic Lackey, seven mana, four, four, of course. Missiles going face, going third. <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Puzzle box wrecks you. Hey, that's one on there. Must be Redbeard. Puzzle box did wreck me. Usually it's my own puzzle box, but hey, puzzle box sounds like it'll wreck me. And Sap, it's good to see you, man. How's life treating you? How's how is everything? Draw a frost spell. Do I have a frost spell? I don't think so. Let's take Defender of Argus. I could go face. You know what? Let's just go face. He's at eight. That's low. I'm exhausted. Why? Were you out doing the charity um, contributions today? Hmm. Wait, was that good for him? Either way, I'm getting a non Divine Shield version of that card, right? Correct? If I do it now, I get a 5 5 without Divine Shield. Spent the day and night spending all the money received for her, the homeless. That's incredible. I'm very proud of you. And I hope it was fulfilling and fun. And I hope you have some cool stories to share. So I can put him to four. I think I'm going to do that. And I'm down to uh, wait again, because I'll, I'll take this over most of what's in my pool. As long as the couple doesn't destroy the hotel room we put under our name for them, then definitely. Oh, I hope not. That would be kind of messed up. I hate standard. Why have to play it to get the stupid card back? Yeah, you know, I don't know. But I too hate that. That would be really messed up. Hopefully, if that does happen, it doesn't skew your your you know your perception of humanity or anything. I'm not trying to BM him. Just wanted to see what was in his deck. That's all. But I tried to play it fast. So I care. All right, let's pay out the yes boys. Just means we have to steal back all the stuff we bought them because we'll be camping next to them. <laughs> That's a good system. You see the art of the two drop. She's carrying her cutter hand with loot. Which two drop? Will we win six? Yes, we will. Will we win nine? Maybe. I'm gonna set the bet to nine, okay? Give you guys two minutes. Good luck on the bet. And you guys have two minutes. And until that time, I hope everybody, again, is having a nice holiday. It's not here yet, but it's soon. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my gosh, it's almost Christmas Eve. Spectral token. From Sneaky Delinquent. I'll try to take a look. Uh, idiotic. I don't want the eight. But I like the two, this one. Oh my gosh, is that good for us? It's kind of good, maybe. I guess it depends. If he gets a Warlock hero power, it's probably bad for us. Yeah, that's a problem.
Yes, Redbeard should have kept his big mouth shut. Oh man, I would love to get one more win, but six feels about right for this deck. Throw in, you know, again, a couple of Draconic Studies and it probably pushes it over the top. Without it, it's like, eh, we could still go seven, we could go 12, but... That's why I think one more win would feel delightful. Plus I get all my gold back. Maybe even gain like 20. A little bit of gold for old red red beard Christmas cheer. Oh crap. This card is good. Oh crap. Okay, so it could be snake. That would be the best case scenario for us. If it's freezing, it's kind of a blowout. But I mean, why would you ever play freezing there, right? Two, one, one, this is gonna stay up, but that's fine. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh my god. Sorry, that could have been pressure. It could have been, I don't know. Hard to play around Hunter Secrets this meta. Um, I think it's Wandering then, probably. If he just throws this like in here, then maybe we know it's explosive, but that's fine. Okay, I get it. It could be explosive, it could be wandering. I'm not entirely sure if I care that it is explosive. I mean, I'd rather it be dead, but... It's also kind of nice that it can't attack. I will say that. The new ice trap triggers with spell. That's true. It does. Uh, what's our best draw? I don't know. Let's see what we roll here. Almost certainly playing whatever four we get. Could get taunted, that's true, but it's only a four five now. So, while it would be kind of annoying, um, probably not the end of the world. It's not going to be a 5, 9, or whatever. But I'm not going to kill it. So, the odds of it getting taunted are lower than the odds that I get punished for trading into a 3 mana 4 8 that can't do anything. Correct's a pretty good. Card. How do you guys feel about Korak? I've been kind of impressed by it, I feel. I think it's strong. That was his discount? Okay. I feel like it's performed pretty well. Oh, he gets to just kill it though, huh? Yeah, whatever. 
I don't really care about that. I'm getting the worm down here is pretty nice. He has a big taunt, we can entomb it. Not impressed at all. I've heard people say that. But I've been pretty, pretty pleased with it. Not like a unkillable, broken machine, but serviceable all the time. Like, it feels way better than Senjin, right? And obviously, right, it should be better than Senjin, but four mana, three fives, like, it feels way better than Violet Teacher to me. It doesn't feel like a regular four mana, like just a four mana, three five, I guess. Korak? What's his name? Yes, win rate's not really all that high. It's pretty low. Did he play Finley? Yeah, he played Finley on turn one. It's kind of like Karen. I would say Karen is much better than than that thing. On average, I would I would be pro Karen. Wow, he taps with three mana. I don't know about that. All we need is two stinking damage to kill him now. I don't like Karen. Always complaining and asking for a manager. Oh, Karen! Beard looks more orange than red if you ask me. Kill Dozer? What does that do? What does that mean? I think I need a, um... I think I need a new camera. One that shows less of my physical f details. Killdozer, I'm gonna need you to do me a big favor, okay? I need you to slam the follow button, come back every day, win several lotteries, and then donate $5,000. But you make like a billion, okay? Just, if you could do that for me, that'd be great. You win like a billion dollars worth of stuff. We're halfway there. Thank you, Killdozer, for the follow. I don't know if that was actually him. I'm just assuming. Boom, Killdozer's in. I'm so glad we got seven wins. Hearthstone's fun when you're winning. How to get 12 wins in Arena? Just hang out here. Do what I do. Eat who I eat. I have an Instagram page I follow called We Rate Dogs. And it's just dogs doing cute things. So I'm going to look at it right now instead of looking at you guys. Hello? I think my phone's just done. I don't think it's going to work. All right, here we go. What are these dogs doing? Oh my god. Wait, that's my mom's dog. Oh no. Oh my god, give me that puppy. I'm gonna get a puppy. That looks like Dexter's dog. That looks like Panini. Hmm. Uh, are we coining? No. What's my favorite Pokemon from Gen 1 without the four on my arm? Growlithe. Growlithe's my favorite, I think. Uh, I really like Haunter as well. Growlithe and Haunter are amongst my favorites. For sure. Um, okay, I mean, I know them all, but sometimes it's easier. Gen 1 Pokemon list. I need a Nova. This is not Nova. I need pictures. Oh my god. Why are they so small? Oh, Vulpix and Ninetales? Okay, they're up there. Um, how does this... How come he didn't... Get the 
Oh, it would have died. Okay. Um, I'm dying. Twitch chat, I'm dying. Uh, I do like Oddish a lot, and my proxy Vileplume, although I don't like Gloom as much. Um, Alakazam's pretty sick. Man, Pokemon's awesome. There's so many cool Pokemon. Scyther, Scyther is really cool. But Growlithe is my, my official answer. I hate Fero. Could uh, initiate that trade there. It's kind of nice. I could try to bomb. It could be a good bomber. I could have the first good bomber of my life, maybe. Nice. Um. Sure. I like Nido King. I didn't like Nido King. If you had any love for Scyther, yeah. The problem with Scyther was all the uh, Safari Zone Pokemon were so hard to catch, man. I, as a kid, I can never. I can. I don't know how. Ten wins and you're gonna sub. Okay. Uh, controls better than Agro. Ten. I don't think this is a ten win deck, but I'm gonna try to get ten wins. Oh, darn it. This thing's going to be a 5-1. It's really annoying. I have to kill it this turn, or entomb it. Just really do that good to have a 4 7 on board against this 5 1. It's pretty easy to deal too. Everybody hates Fero, I hope so. Problem with Scythe, there was Caesar came out, did he? Uh, housewife, good to see ya. How's house? How is the housewife? I've not seen housewife too much too recently. assume it's plagiarized. I don't want to give him the probe. All I would have liked to probe and look for a better turn, but what are you going to do? Uh, not a great initiation there. I need help. I need like a proto this turn or a... maybe a disciple. A disciple could be... Oh god, wait, is that drafted? Why? Big Gyarados fan here. Something about starting Magikarp. And then subbing him out to level 20 felt satisfying. You know, I didn't, uh, I, did, I was not a big uh, Gyarados guy. I, I hated bouncing back and forth between uh, I hated to like stick a Magikarp in and then sub it out and stick it in and sub it out. I'd do it like a thousand times before you got a Gyarados. I did like the shiny Gyarados you got in <clears throat> Pokemon Heart Gold. Once lent my Game Boy to my cousin for a few months, and that MF had all possible Pokemon in yellow in the decks. I can never do that. <laughs> really? Yeah, I never, I never built a big Pokédex. I would always just pick up my like six or seven guys, and I would hate catching. I didn't like to leave them in the computer. I felt bad. I still do. I don't want to leave them in the computer. I feel a sick coming on. What up, Zep? What? Been pretty busy, myself too, and schedule shifted a bit lately. Sometimes the schedule shifts, you know? What did he just play? Mortal Coil on his own guy? Darn it. Oh my god, that's actually kind of good. No minions? Okay, that certainly wasn't worth 5 mana. But if he starts popping out uh, rifts, it's going to be good for him. Did I draw a card? I don't, right? Okay, hopefully he doesn't draw any for a few turns. Okay, that's nice. I like the kindergarten drawing of Charizard Dragonite. <laughs> I once um, started a heart gold run, I think and got a Dratini.
and leveled it up to a Dragonair, and it, it, it doesn't even level up to Dragonite until like level 60 or something. And it was so horrible. <laughs> I had to use Dragon Breath to like level 60 and it only dealt 40 damage. I remember being being very mad about um I remember being very mad about that. That felt good, that did. Alright, I'm I'm not gonna talk as much crap about Entomb. It's been really good. I don't I still don't think it's a premium removal spell, but Rogue is very good and that piece of crap is very good too, so. Uh Entomb. Uh, uh what is it? Uh Reconnaissance, Recarenaissance. What does he say? Somebody tell me what that says. I must know. I need to know what that attack line is. Die horribly? That's all he says? I thought he it was two paragraphs he said. Die horribly? Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Die horribibbly. Die horribibbly? You guys can hear that, by the way? Impressive. Is that what it is? I, I like this card. I've decided. I hear die booba. <laughs> <clears throat> I hear die <laughs> boba baby play. <laughs> Do you imagine? I just imagine they did like fifty takes, and they're like, ah, oh, just you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> We're just telling him to say die horribly. Like, just this is the best one we got. I mean, the voice actor had a tough time with that one. Oh man, comical. They need to make a hero portrait for this guy and have the voice actor that did it do six emotes. I will pay money for that. Our ears have gotten more used to listening to crap since we started watching you. One of the pros of being a Redbeard watcher, that's how we know. Hey, I'm so glad we got eight wins. I don't know if you guys know, but that's actually more than seven. It's one more. By the way, Red, congrats on the new team. Thanks, Zep. Team Liquid Redbeard representation. Isn't it kind of crazy? Team Liquid is a humongous esports team. And when they reached out to me and said, we want the best, most likable, most handsome arena streamer there is. And they said Dreads was a... No, I didn't say anything bad about Dreads. All right, I don't know. But it's good. Yeah, it's fun. It's cool. It's a nice career milestone. F2K was a great team, but then they went bankrupt. Now Team Liquid's a good team. Hopefully they don't go bankrupt. That'd be really bad if every team I joined went bankrupt. That'd be real bad indeed. Give me that Wild Paw Cavern. Butt spots on a rampage. Oh, give me the thing. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Except he used his coin, but eh, you know. It's there, play there. Can kill what comes out here with this, maybe. If I buff it to 5-4, I can trade, but I still lose it, so. We'll do this. I'm glad he already got rid of the coin. I don't want to shovel the coin into my deck. It's interesting because if it's still alive, getting a wild paw cavern if he plays one could be cool, but I'll probably be dead if he plays wild paw next turn. Good night, Redbeard. We'll be lurking while I'm sleeping. All right. I appreciate you being here. 
Problem here is uh, I ain't got much to do. It's a very good draw or hit, so I don't skip the turn. It's not a very good card, but on this turn it was probably better than some things. Dang it. All right, well, we won't be beating that, I'm afraid. Unless... Maybe I build my own monster. I can initiate one, but he gets to get a five drop out. That's bad. Christmas tree behind you. I just saw it. Look at uh, some of the ornaments we put on. Well, they're not really ornaments. They're Pokemon packs. And there's a Z there. Is that a B next? Is the B next to it? No. The B's over. It's just out of sight, but it's for Zach and Brooke. Which I think is a wonderful combination of names. Oh, shit. Uh, what's died? I don't even know. Can I just do this? Oh, yes. Give me something good, please. Well, again, not a great card, but if I'm going to get a not great card, I'd rather it be a two drop I can put on the board. Even presents. Yeah, there's a lot of presents now. Oh, my God. There's more presents on that side. I left a little bit of area so I could water him. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure if he has, if he needs more water. He didn't drink a lot of water. I only filled him up the day we got him. Back home in California, I would water the Christmas tree as a kid, and then the next day it was out of water, probably because it was 110 degrees for Christmas. What will I be doing? Uh, I'll be with Brooke. We'll either go to her family or just hang out here or both. And then when I next visit my family, um, I'm going to demand that we do Thanksgiving and Christmas. Because so they're going to have a bunch of presents they need to get me, you know? What if I bump? Hit, initiate that. Maybe that's better. It's not a great ripple. I don't develop anything. Still kill about the same amount of crap. Are you watering him with your pee? Oh, I, have to, I didn't want to bend over and show my exposed plumber's arse or whatever. Come on. You wanted to see? I was on my hands and knees. And then I got my, my little tail I got stuck inside, in the back there, for sex appeal. I'm happy for you both, me too, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm real lucky to have Brooke. That's what I think. So if I hit, hit Nova, I can death it. Ripple, if I hit, hit, ripple, death, to heal. Probably reasonable. He has a hex or whatever, we get blown out if we play that, so. I mean, we're probably not going to win this one, probably, because Wild Paw Cavern is very, very difficult to beat, but if we're going to, it probably starts like this. You both are lucky for finding each other. Fortunately for us, the plumber's crack is obscured by air. <laughs> I do have a very hairy arse. Stream tell emojis are a bit misleading. Could have been a good opportunity there. A uh, bit misleading for what? Or do you think it would be a good opportunity to show my arse? That, that makes it look like a, like a broccoli is going into a butt more than air is escaping one.
Hope he doesn't have a hex. Oh god, is there an evolve in this meta? Uh, unstable, right? I guess. Good free trade. Freeze the 4 5 and then start evolving. Okay, that's not so bad. I just have to do this, I think. He hits there, he hits there. I'd like to keep that alive, but healing here might be good. Like if he has a uh, lightning storm, it might be better. Lightning, trade, trade, maybe not. It's like the same. Looking like the end, is it? I thought it was looking good. Did he heal the 2 1 taunt? Mm, is that better? I don't know. Maybe. But yeah, maybe. Why didn't I draw anything? I've drawn all of my holy spells and all of my shadow spells in the first 13 cards. I must not have that many. I have Raised Dead. Probe, Deliverance, Initiation, how, what the f, that's dumb, that's hella dumb. Ruin to kill only my guy, 4 drop, it's okay, let's take that. Actually, it doesn't have a great attack anywhere. Um, okay, well. Maybe we'll get a good draw next. It's possible. I thought I was drawing two spells. I really did. Anubisath, what? bonk into that. Let's uh, play that. Take that back. Play this. This could actually be good. 5, 10, 14, did I have lethal? Uh, he could have Tidal Wave, which would suck. I don't think it sucks much less if I just go phase. I think it's just gonna suck either way. Hmm. Definitely not the end. How come nobody in chat kek W'd me? Do I care that much about that? Starting to care. Okay, he gave up two good hits. And he got... A 
great hit. Okay. And he rolled a taunt. That's spectacular. Spectacular news. Now that's a Keck W. That's a Redbeard luck right there. Could have had an Entomb. Entomb would have been sick. Entomb. I'm never talking schmack about Entomb again. Never. It's my favorite card of all time. Yeah, it's actually, I mean, it's kind of awkward, but... Still kind of probably okay. So about that in tomb, yeah, right. Be death wings may be kind of annoying. Could have had a could have had a thing. Well played indeed. We beat a wild pot on curve. That's cool. We got a little lucky there. We got remarkably unlucky. And then got a little lucky at the end to steal a game that we probably, it was probably ours, right? We did coin early, true. All right, we did go nine wins though, right? Nine, yes. I'm gonna set the bet to 12, although I'm not expecting this to go 12. To be fair, I was not expecting it to go six on average and certainly not nine ever, so. What do I know? You guys can have two minutes on nine, on 12 wins, okay? Two minutes. It says it's raining right now. Is it? Oh my God, it is. That's not a light rain, that's a rain. Somewhere around six to nine. I've got to pee. It's almost two? What? Did I start late? No. Wow. Maybe this has been a fun run and it's distracted me. Maybe. The best nights streaming are the nights where somebody gives like a thousand subs. The second best nights, 999 subs. The third best nights, or when you do like three runs and they all go like 10, 11, 12 or whatever. You're like, oh, I just streamed for seven and a half hours and I only did three runs of Hearthstone. That's good, that's a good feeling. You know what's a bad feeling? Getting this from him makes me upset. I kind of like this. There are some spells he might want to play. He may just say, you know, F this, I'm going to slap it in advance. He might. He didn't, but he might have. I want, um, you know the one I want. That's the one. I wanted uh, Reconnaissance, would have been pretty sick. Do you think that ever lives? Maybe. Nights where you get 998 subs suck only 999 or 1000, please. No, I didn't say they sucked, but the third best is when you just get a bunch of Earth wins. Oh, 
That's all. Don't you dare. Wait, do I death it? Go up to six. I can bump and dagger. That feels bad. If I death it, I skip my turn. Okay, okay. Let's both feel bad then. Nope, they suck. I disagree. Firehawk, I disagree. That's where you and I differ. This could be wonderful. Probably not, though. Ooh, what if we rolled a taunt? I mean, it depends on what he has. Depending on what he has, it could have been backbreaking. This poor, poor fool. He's going to be done in by his own explosive sheep here. There's like no way in which that works, right? Like, I mean, there is a way, but... Um, if I play it and hit this, what am I, I'm just gonna skip my turn? Big mistake. Now the bomber's coming to play. Kinda just lose if... This doesn't go where we want it. I guess I could always death. I'll have to death then. I don't feel like we've won the, the RNG rolls this game, no? Got a deadly poison and an explosive sheep from our nine win rogue. That's not good. I'd prefer have got I prefer having gotten his good cards. Maybe he doesn't have any good cards. Maybe he's an Anubisath gamer. So I do think he's played totally fine, totally adequately. My guess is he's probably rocking like... Like a Ysera or a, or a Serathine, because he has very low card quality in his deck and many wins. So while he's played completely adequately, I would imagine he's also got some, some strong cards to supplement his good play and his bad cards. Slop, what up, Slop Playa? Bomber, you ass. Yeah, exactly. I guess he's rocking maybe a maybe a rune thack or something. This guy I don't think mm, I don't think you wanted to do that, did he? Maybe. Maybe he really, really wanted that 8-6. Right, some tumult. Let's bump it. I would like to squeeze in a heal, but that is not available. Uh, we can get a Holy Ripple, maybe? Ripple Worm, perhaps? Play was strange, though. Might have been fine, I'm not sure. It just seemed weird, weird to me. Cold Tooth Yeti. All right, what's my best draw? Maybe Spirit Guide? Maybe, maybe like something like a Bone Wraith? Holy nipple. Holy nipple. Close game. I, I'm curious because this deck, we really didn't see many great cards. 
I'd like to see more of that deck. But I think 9 for this deck is phenomenal. I'm really happy we got 9. And it was fun, too. And in Tomb, good god. It made me look like an idiot. It was so good. We were Tomb to Rattle Gore. We entombed some other crap. It was really nice. Oh, and Kill Dozer. We missed his sub. Almost, though. Did not think we were going to get close to 10, to be honest with you. Uh, 150 gold for 9 wins and 20 dust. Kind of a lame, lame thing. Dire Frost Wolf, though. Golden. That's a pretty cool.